<laughs> we are in Tazazut, Morocco. I'm Scott, you're Madalena. I'm Magda. Magda, <laughs> nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. <laughs> and this is Sundesk. Yes, exactly. That's... So how did it, so basically what happens at Sundesk? Um, well, Sundesk is a co-working and co-living space. So people can come here and work from Sundesk. There's fully equipped office as well as accommodation. So we have single and double rooms and as well shared rooms and the guests can stay with us as well. And the weather here is always perfect? Uh, yeah, we have more than 350 sunny days. Wow. Even. <laughs> yes, it's always perfect. Nice. Uh, so in England, or, or where are you from? I'm German. German. So yes. in Germany in October, November, January, February, December, when it's terrible weather, cold, you can come down here and do your work. Exactly. That's the idea. It's an annual migration, <laughs> like the birds, like the birds to, uh, to Morocco. How long have you been running Sundance here, the um, Sun Deck here? Uh, for um, two and a half years now. Wow. Yeah. So what gave you the idea to open it? Well, I um, studied hotel management originally and I worked in hotels all my life. And then I decided to top up my studies with an online university. I joined an online university and I could do this from Tarazud. Oh, okay. And um, I really enjoyed studying here because I could go for a swim or for a surf. And yeah, it's a beautiful surrounding, it's sunny. But um, I was struggling a lot with the internet connection. And well, if you've been to Morocco once, you know, you might have noticed that um, the streets are kind of busy when you sit in a restaurant. It's, it's difficult <laughs> to find a quiet space. It's a polite it's, way of saying a lot of people come up with stuff to sell you. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And anyway, the, the level of noise is really loud. Um, so, uh, yeah, I thought about um, opening a co-working space to make it easier for people who come here to, to study or to focus on their work. Nice. And then at the same time, I thought about um, having combining it with, uh, with some rooms because that's a, a very easy package. If I need, if I uh, want to, to go and travel and work at the same time, the, it's great to have like a setup where you don't have to think about the accommodation and, and so right. on. Right. Yeah, and I can, I can attest to that. I've been here the last two days and the facilities are wonderful and it's clean and it, everything works. <laughs> I've been to other parts of Morocco where I can't quite say that. <laughs> Thank you, yes, yeah. It's, um, <laughs> sometimes I'm doing jokes at the German embassy, but yeah, well, <laughs> of course, we, um, the standards are pretty, pretty excellent. high. Uh, I, well, we try to yeah, fulfill them. It's a, it's a wonderful place and it's, mm. it's clean, it's quiet, it works. Uh, it was really enjoyable the last two days for me to be here, actually. I really appreciate it. I felt so much more productive than I have in the last two weeks in Morocco. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. I appreciate Uploading it. Uploading something mm. was like 10 minutes, not four hours. It was, it was great. Uh, so how did you get a fast internet here? Um, well, I... Um, this is, I know, a trade secret, but... <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the, um, now we are actually pretty lucky because fiber um, reached Tarazud. So, oh, okay. Um, because of a uh, um, big demand, um, Morocco Telecom decided to um, create the infrastructure to um, give us fiber internet. But, um, well, I think it was a work of... of plenty of people, but um, from my part, um, I uh, basically annoyed the, the technical <laughs> office of Morocco Telecom quite a lot. I um, found out where they are based because the sales department didn't want to sell good internet. So I found out where they are based and I literally went there maybe now more than 30 times or something. Wow. I really stressed them out <laughs> to, <laughs> to bring the fiber connection. And before, just to get, we started actually with 10 Mbps download and uh, 0.5 upload or I something. Know the upload is awful. Yes. And um, we create, just to get this was like a struggle of one month. 
and uh, we were the first ones in, in, in Tarazu to, <laughs> to get that speed. And uh, yeah, now um, we even have Fiverr. So yeah, it's, it was kind of work, but Morocco Telecom is great. They helped us. And, oh, yeah. good. <laughs> so Morocco is uh, a Muslim country, which uh, they always have, uh, the stereotype is, you know, women stay in the home and that sort of thing. So how was it starting a business here? Uh, as a blonde German female in Morocco. I'm really <laughs> curious about that. Like, did, how, did, how did you feel that you were treated? And well, I have to say um, that in reality, um, I think women have a way more uh, powerful role than, than it's uh, showed to, to, to the outside or to the media. You have to understand or go deep into Moroccan society and then you're going to discover that we, the women are actually the, the bosses in the house. <laughs> so, um, and the men just... Do what they're told. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> fulfill what, <laughs> the needs of the women. <laughs> no, but they're really strong. Um, and um, yeah, I think even 40% of women work in Morocco. That's just, um, mm. quite a high number. Right. And um, in in the administration and in the private sector you find women everywhere it's like 50 50 i, I deal a lot with women actually here okay. so that was um quite okay i think the fact that i'm a woman just played a role with uh, renovation because okay. then that's a man's business mm -hmm. and um we had to renovate this entire house and dealing with the workers um was uh, quite of difficult because they are not used to, to to women telling them what to do as well. I I like to work, I like to build, so I can <laughs> do many things as well. And that was kind of uh, difficult sometimes. I think for my workers, they were a little bit scared um, because yeah, I, I can fix a toilet as well. That's not a problem for me. <laughs> so that was scary for them. Both. Right. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Would, I know a number of women that are here that are traveling alone yes. and they're loving it. Mm -hmm. So for the people back home, like one of the, I talked to a friend of mine in the States who has only ever been in Toronto, Canada, outside of the United States. Mm -hmm. And he said even that scared him, leaving the United States. Yes, right? yeah. So we get into these comfort zones where we're very comfortable, like being in our community or even in our state or province, and it can be scary to leave yeah right definitely. so i want to talk to those people that are in north america that are my friends in canada and the united states or even in europe that are like i'll go to hawaii for a vacation or i'll go to uh, southern italy for a vacation but go to africa are you kidding me like ebola and and muslim uprisings and all this dangerous lions and <laughs> <laughs> so i'd like you to talk to the safety of morocco well morocco is um, extremely safe it's a really extremely safe country it's a country which you can travel easily um, the the worst thing which can happen here is that there are some pickpockets but that's really the worst. There are, there are really no attacks or kidnapping or something like this. There are no guns here. This is really forbidden in Morocco. There's an absolute control over that. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it's, it, it, it's really safe. It doesn't seem because, yeah, it's a Muslim country <laughs> and it's in Africa. But um, uh, the country itself invests so much money in tourism mm -hmm. that they really created a wonderful infrastructure. I feel 100% safe here. And concerning the traveling, if you, um, you don't need to be scared to leave the comfort zone. And I think even in other countries, if you just act as you would act at home, um, so don't go with strangers, right. uh, avoid uh, hitchhiking with a man as a woman. Um, and, and things like that, then, then you're on a really safe um, uh, right. side. As, as well, traveling as a, as a single woman, a man definitely approach to me. Like mm. um, here, if I just go to the next village, uh, people will definitely try to get in contact with me, man. That's like kind of a 
macho thing here. Mm. It's like you have to do it all the time. Like, oh, hello, hee hee. That means nothing. <laughs> and um, just ignore it. Right. That's what I tell my guests. If you're annoyed by it, just ignore. Forget about your politeness. Those, the, it's part of the culture. The man will approach to 100 women and it doesn't break their hearts if you're unpolite. So. <laughs> Unlike the men in North America when they approach two women and they both say no, feel devastated and don't come out of their apartment for a month. Exactly. <laughs> no, this is not the case here. It's really big part of the culture. And um, yeah, um, the, the good thing is they, they won't, if you say no, then they usually accept it. Right. So it's not that they They're not impolite asking. or hostile. Mm -hmm. No, well, if uh, sometimes they're of course a bit heartbroken and say like, "Oh, this is mean now," or something <laughs> like this. But right. um, yeah, just ignore it. That's it. Cool. So <laughs> we're in Tagazut, which is about what thirty minutes north of Agadir. Mm -hmm. And Agadir is a fairly large city. Uh, what are some of the things around Tagazut that you really like and enjoy? Um, like uh, uh, to do in uh, yes. Tarazuit. Yeah, while you're living here. Uh, well, what I really enjoy is the beach, actually. We have a wonderful beach. It's Just five over kilometers. There, gonna, that's the one, right? Exactly, that's <laughs> the one. <laughs> we'll show a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, there are uh, some surf spots. And, um, you can so you're go, a surfer? Uh, well, I pretend to be <laughs> one, but actually I'm not really good. Um, but I do surf, yeah. And um, you can go for a run. I, yeah. I love that beach for running and uh, for some workout or just to chill. Hmm? Right. There's lots of really nice coffee shops and restaurants I noticed. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Some really good ones. I call it uh, the suburb because just the next point has about like five or ten houses on it. Yes. So I call it the suburb <laughs> and I love walking there in the morning and then it's just sitting and the, the rocks incline like about this much and I just sit there and I watch the waves come. And, Sometimes I wonder if there's going to be a wave that can come and get me. And a couple of times <laughs> yesterday, there was a couple that came close. Like I was on the other side of a big rock and it actually came over the rock. I thought, wow, that was really cool, right? Yes. But being close to the ocean is just amazing. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yes, and Tarazud is just very, very relaxed um, little village. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's good if, you, if you're seeking for some some calm moments and yeah just to to relax right. without distraction yeah it's yeah it's a quiet place it's not a place you come to if you want to disco all night or something like yes, that yes yeah we don't have that <laughs> <laughs> now we have a bar that's new oh, okay <laughs> where you can drink a beer <laughs> but yeah that's um so that actually brings up an interesting question uh morocco is not like incredibly strict on alcohol no. No. Like like in uh, Agadir, there's a number of bars where you can go and get a beer if you want. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. and nightclubs and night everything. Clubs, yes. Right. Yeah. So it's not uh, not unfriendly that way. Uh, no, no, the um, uh, no, not at all. There, there's lots of Western influence here as well, and Moroccans um, like to celebrate <laughs> too. <laughs> so um, no, it's really. Yeah, it's not such a big uh, difference. It's not a very strict Muslim country. No, it's a very um, liberal one. Mm, mm. Great. So is there anything else you'd like to say about uh, Sundesk before we wrap this up? Well, yeah, come over and <laughs> visit Sundesk. <laughs> come and enjoy it. So what's, exactly. your, what's your website? It's um, uh, sundeskdesk.com. Sundesk.com. Great. And you can book there and, exactly. and come down to Tagazut. Everyone will be happy to see you. Yes. Right. So thank you very <laughs> much. Nice. Thank you, Scott. Oh, my God,
Lama vai botar só o agó Lama vai esquecer na tua agó Sopi, sopi, ganta agó Sopi, sopi, ganta agó E pus uma mulher entre o agó E pus uma mulher entre o agó E pus uma mulher entre o agó